Hey folks, That Fix It Guy here. If you're new to the channel, please click the subscribe button. Tap that bell icon and get notified when a new video is coming out. So today, we're gonna be installing a toilet tank rebuild kit. We're gonna tear down an old toilet and we're gonna make it brand new, essentially. If your porcelain's still in good shape and you put all new parts in it, well then you've got a brand new toilet for 25 bucks. So come along, let's get to fixing. Okay, so this is the toilet we're talking about. Hear how slow that's running. You can actually see water running down the outside of this. You can see the mold starting to form. It's definitely old, it's, it's seen better days. This toilet seriously takes like five minutes to fill, at least. So here we go. Okay. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a sponge, we're gonna stick it right down underneath the valve there, and we're gonna just close the valve. We're gonna remove this supply line. Now you just wanna drain the toilet. So now we'll take a flathead screwdriver We'll just stick it right down in here with one hand. Uh, with the screwdriver holding as the backup up top, we're gonna take this half inch nut driver right here. And it's got a, it's got a hollow core shank and it's made just for awesome things like this. And we're just gonna pop this out, flip over here to the other side, and we're gonna do the exact same thing. Towel down right on the bowl lid. Now we're gonna go ahead, just gonna pop the toilet straight off, and then we're just gonna set that tank right there so we can work on it. So now we have this facing right in front of us. This is the Fluid Master Universal All-in-One Toilet Rebuild Kit. Comes with everything you need to rebuild a toilet. So let's unpackage this bad boy and let's put it in. Okay, so the very first thing I like to do is make sure you take this piece of cardboard out of here. That'll save you some heartache later when you're freaking out, wondering why your toilet's leaking. And so then we'll just remove this gasket and we'll set this aside because remember this goes on the bottom once this piece is installed. Okay, so we'll just take this flush valve, we'll set it right here in place. So then we're gonna measure how far the bottom of the handle comes up. Comes up about nine inches off the bottom. So that way if the toilet valve malfunctions, it doesn't start running out of the handle hole. And then we'll just grab this, we'll take the cutters, just cut her off. Now we flip back around. And I like to install this a little bit on the angle right here, which seems to work out a little bit better. So now that you have this in place, you're going to take this nut right here and you're gonna put it on the back. So then you just thread that on and you're going to want to grab your channel locks, holding the inside of this. There's a little groove there where you can stick two fingers down in. You just want to hold that as your backup and then grab with your channel locks and tighten. And now you're able to take your tank to bowl gasket and you're able to stick that right on. Okay, so then we're going to take brass bolts and we're gonna go one on there and then grab the other one and then we're gonna stick both through. They give you enough of these washers and the way I like to do this 
It's not how everybody does it. Some people just take at this step, they take the metal nut and the metal washer and they'll attach it to this and they'll tighten it down. I like to go rubber to rubber. That way I get it to seal from both sides like that. And then we have two different size nuts here. It comes with two different size thicknesses. One's a little thicker, one's a little thinner. So I take the thinner one with the washer, with the metal washer, and I'll just put that on and I'll tighten this down. And that way this whole thing is secured. Let's do the same with the other one real quick. So then we're gonna take this fill valve and we're gonna pop this little ring right here and this allows you to adjust the whole thing up and down. And we'll just leave that unadjusted for a moment. We'll go to the bottom of the shank. We'll take this seal. Make sure you have the bevel side down because it's actually gonna set into the groove of the tank itself. And you're just gonna bring that through the hole. Take the little retaining nut and Okay, so now we're just gonna grab the tank. We're just gonna bring it back over here. Set it right down in place. Stick the rubber washer over there, metal washer and the nut. And we're just gonna get those started. And then we're gonna do the same to the other side and we're gonna tighten them both evenly. The other $6 or 25 bucks was spent on the supply line. So this is a braided flex stainless steel supply line. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be hooking this hose up. It goes from the fill valve to the flush valve. Grab this chain down here and get this chain hooked up. So we want a little bit of play on the chain, but not so much. So let's go to right there. You're gonna have to mess around with this a little bit. Find your sweet spot. That looks pretty good. You've got a little bit of a dip, but not too much. There's definitely play there and we'll see. And if this actually works out, then we're just gonna clip this chain off a little bit. So we wanna have it like just adjusted right below the tank. This little sleeve right here that you had pulled up, you just wanna take that and you wanna lock it down and slide it in place. And that's gonna actually lock the fill valve and it's not gonna allow that to move. And now we'll be able to adjust right here. Okay, so with all that hooked up, just reach down with your left hand and just turn it on slowly. Get some water flowing through that bad boy. Okay, so now we're gonna give it a flush to see what adjustment we need to do. It's a good flush. We're maybe gonna take just a little bit more off of that. So we're gonna lower the fill valve down just a little bit right here. You can see that this is minus and this is plus over here and we're just gonna take it to the minus a little bit just because it started to double flush a little bit. So you can do it by hand or you can do it with a screwdriver. To trim the chain up, I just like to still leave three or four links there and we'll just take it, test it at the same time, just break that apart, good to go. And we'll give it another flush. Perfect. Okay, so for the finishing touches, we got a little food coloring right here, and we are going to test the flush valve and make sure that it's not leaking. So you just drop a couple drops in there. So let's take my screwdriver, just mix up the water a little bit. Let it set for about 10 minutes, come back and check it. Okay, so it's been setting, and now we come to the bowl and we look, there's no blue going on anywhere around it. So 
we're good and hooked up. And the last thing we do before we leave is we flush all the blue out of the toilet so the homeowner doesn't freak out and wonder what is going on with the plumbing. All right, folks. So that is installing the Fluid Master all-in-one toilet tank rebuild kit and a new supply line. That is the easiest way I know to get yourself a new toilet for only 25 bucks. If you could please subscribe to the channel, click the like button, it would be greatly appreciated. I will put a link for the tools and the material used in the description box below. Thank you very much and have a great evening.